So, I have a circle here. Now, if I take two random points on the circle and join it using a line, it's a special line because it's inside the circle. And when something is special, we give it a name. We call it the chord of the circle. And the chord can be of so many lengths. This is a chord, this is a chord, this is a chord. All of these are chords. Now that we're talking about chord lengths, since this circle is a closed space, you agree with me, there has to be some limitation to the longest length of the chord possible. So let's try to find that longest chord, okay? So let's start by making this chord over here. Now, let me keep pushing this chord up and up and up. It's getting longer and longer. Oh my! At a point, it starts getting shorter, shorter, shorter. So the longest line in a circle is the one that divides it into two equal halves. The chord's length again begins to reduce as we move towards the outsides of the circle. Now, if this was a piece of paper with a circle on it, folding the page is one way of finding out the longest chord of the circle. Folding it exactly in half, that is. There is another way to locate this longest chord. All you need to do is to draw a radius from the center and extend it to the other side. And this line will be your longest chord in the circle. And that's really, really special being the longest chord in the circle. So we give it another name. We call it the diameter. How about we summarize everything about the diameter so that it becomes crystal clear to you once again. So let's start. First, we drew a circle. Then, we made the diameter. How did we make the diameter? First, we drew the radius. Then, we extended the radius to the other side and made a diameter. So this means that if we had put two radius lines at 180 degrees, we get the diameter. And this means that the diameter length is double the radius length and it passes through the center. This is pretty easy. A diameter. One is the longest chord. Two has double the length of the radius. Three passes through the center of the circle. Now that you understood this really well, if we were just given this circle, how do you find the center point? Let me give you a clue. We just learned that the diameter is the only chord that passes through the center. Can you make use of that? Yes, yes, yes. So if I drag the chord up and get the longest chord, this is my circle's diameter. Then the midpoint of this diameter is the center. Brilliant! Now, let's do a tougher task. I want to somehow make three chords of equal length intersect at a common point. So let's try it out. Uh, this is a circle of radius 4 centimeters. Uh, this is one chord, say, of 2 centimeters. I can make another chord of 2 centimeters and make them intersect at a particular point. That's pretty simple. Now, here comes the tricky part. Let's bring one more 2 centimeter chord. But where do I place it? Maybe like this? Mm, but I don't get a common point of intersection. Like this, maybe? Oh, uh, maybe like this. Do you want to try out? Like this. Mm, maybe like this. Hey, I have a common point of intersection. But, oh wait, that's not even a chord. Yeah, you're right. If I move it like this, one of my chords just disappears. Seems like a third chord just overlapped another one. So, does this actually mean that if I have three chords of equal length, I can never make them intersect at a common point without any overlaps? Okay, wait, wait, don't jump to conclusions. Let's give it one more try. So let's try that. Here's my circle. Here are three chords. Now, I'm just gonna keep moving them. And look, look, they're intersecting. What is this point? It's the center of the circle. And the line is a diameter. Yes, so this is a very, very special feature of the diameter. 
if you want to make three chords of equal length intersect at a common point then the only three which would work are the diameters and you know what the point at which they intersect is the center of the circle so here you have another way to find the center of the circle do you know what it is yes you just have to make two diameters intersect and the point of the intersection is the center you're a genius 